So if you watch the videos, you know I'm not a big color guy. Like I, I try to keep it really simple, but I do like kind of like bouncing some some ideas and some concepts off people, and no better person to do it with than you know somebody who's fishing the FLW that's like traveled around and also from like a totally different region. So we've caught some fish on chatterbaits. So Jacob was talking about like some custom colors and just some chatterbaits that he uses. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Tell me a little bit about each of these that you got tied on, why you got them tied on, what you use them for, etc. So when I'm when I'm around those fish that are chasing shad, I'm gonna opt for more of a, a, a kind of a shad. I don't know. This could imitate anything really. That could imitate. Yeah, there really is a great crossover, like no matter what. Yeah, I mean, you go up shallow. This will imitate a bluegill. I've got the you know tail dart dyed chartreuse right now, but I could rip that off and put just a straight you know one on there without a chartreuse tail, or even throw that. They don't care. Um, and I'm kind of the same way as Mikey here. I, I don't get too nitpicky with colors, right. but I do pay attention to lights and darks. Me too. Shades. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So like this here is a light shade, you know, and I feel like on a day like today, bright high sun. This yeah, is dude, a great day just to went this. through. Yeah, exactly. You know, but on a day where it's cloudy, like it's been the last couple weeks, right. this is what I'm throwing right here, this darker stuff. I've been catching them on. This is when I tied up, you know, Mikey was talking about how he, he ties some. Um, I buy my own skirt material and I tie my own. That's this is cool, kind of a, dude. you know, bluegill very variant um it's real dark on top i think that's... you've actually thrown it like you can see how it's all like chewed up on the nose oh yeah dude. Like, this yeah. had that skirt on there at first and then that skirt got so eaten off that yeah. i tied that skirt on there um i probably need to put a new snap on here it's all bending out but i get kind of lazy with that stuff too but um, that's a newer one that's a color that i've been catching them on you know black and blue green pumpkin but but basically having something dark having something light like it, and i kind of have the same approach man like because it really it, you know there are some nuanced bites on these lakes but in the end they're eating shad or they're eating brim or bluegill whatever you want to call them and like the, the bluegill are darker usually pretty much you yeah, know yeah. unless it's like super clear water and the, and the shad are, are lighter silvery kind of sometimes smoky or whatever but like they're lighter colored so that kind of covers it Here's one thing I want to ask you about though, because this is something I find interesting. So I'm going to put up a video on how to like custom rig up kind of your old school lures, or maybe I already did like your old school chatterbaits. But I noticed all of those blades are dark yep. or flat. Are yep. you a believer, dude? Oh yeah. I know I am. Oh, dude. 100%. Like if you got that and it starts like chipping off, freaking either sand it a bit and put some marker on there or spray it out. But like those darker chatterbait blades, even if you're throwing like a shad type lure, like really all you got to look at that is like a bill. That's yeah. how I kind of look at it. And so I don't want it to appear that much. I'd rather have it be a shadow. Sometimes I guess you want some flash, but like overall, I've had more success with that darker one. Have you found the same thing or? I think so. Um, I, in the past, I threw a lot of just like straight silver, straight gold. Right. Um, I think when that straight gold blade, I like a gold blade. If I'm going to throw really? a shiny blade, I'm going to throw a gold blade. Even in super clear water? Yeah. Really? But generally when they're on bluegill. Oh, okay. Only when they're yeah, on bluegill. Yeah, yeah. Just because, okay. you know, they're they're up there, they're kind of shiny. You're getting and darting flashy. all over the place. Yeah. Uh, a gold blade will work good on this kind of a color. But for the most part, I mean, especially like Gunnersville, you've got so many guys fishing a chatterbait. You've got so mm -hmm. many guys pressuring these areas. You know, this just kind of, instead of creating flash, this one's all worn off. I painted over that with a Sharpie who knows how many times, but, <laughs> um, you know, it's just going to, you know, provide vibration and it's going to, yeah, exactly. it's going to draw them in with their lateral line. They're not going to visually see that flash. Right. And then once they get in there, I mean, they're going to see the skirt and everything. I mean, there's already enough flash in the skirt and on the trailer to draw them in. You don't need, you don't need a super flashy blade on there flying around also. It is hot. I think I'm going to pick one of those. Yeah.